Hey everyone and welcome to another Warframe video. I apologise for not having any Warframe videos out recently or any videos at all. I've just not been feeling Warframe recently at all. Completely neutered Nightwave, no interest in the attack alert whatsoever and the complete lack of content on skins. Just struggling to find something interesting to cover quite frankly. Let's put it this way, the sooner Railjack comes the better. Anyways, the topic of today's video is one I've been promising for a bit, and that is the Zephyr build I've shown off in a couple of videos recently. Since we've got a whole load, well, I okay, say a whole load, two open world tile sets, and Planes of Daviri seems to be another one, having a frame dedicated to those open spaces is something I really wanted, and after a while I settled down onto Zephyr. The main reason for this is the Augment Jetstream for her turbulence. Increases projectile flight speed and movement speed based on power strength. As you can see from the footage, also includes increasing the range of weapons that normally have a fixed range, like the ever impressive Catch Moon, and even affects the drop off range of pellets on shotguns or gun blades like the Redeemer Prime. Naturally, the build determines a lot of how all this works. Umbra intensifies on there, blind rage for power strength to increase the flight speed as well as movement speed while you're on the ground. Prime continuity, narrow minded for duration so that we don't have to recast turbulence so much. That basically effectively adds us a bit of efficiency to counter that blind rage. But since duration also affects the speed that you fly with your first ability, it, it like busts movement with that too. Got we'll stretch on there to counter the negative of narrow minded so the protection of turbulence isn't so small it doesn't work properly. Streamlines on there just for a bit of efficiency, speed drifter, you know, increase our movement speed and cast speed so we can get our abilities up quicker. Now I know some of you are going to see the double energize, however this is mostly just a quality of life thing for me. A single energize and generic, you can keep this running super easily. The double energize is just so that I don't ever have to worry about energy, but it is by no means a requirement of this build. And well, that's actually pretty much all there is to it, it just comes down to how you play her and honestly, it's the most fun I've had on the planes in a really long time. Taking down dropships from 100 meters away with your catch moon is a blast. Sp like sprinting around the area at a million miles an hour, taking down groups of enemies from range with the Redeemer Prime has actually been a silly amount of fun. While possibly the most I've actually played a frame in quite a while, three of her four abilities get some use here from me. Moving from stage to stage with her tailwind, dropping out of the sky with a redeemer ground slam, getting turbulence up so make you damn near invincible, hot damn is a lot of fun. There's one very, very important thing to note is, the key word is the fact that you are near invincible, near invincible with turbulence up. Melee units will still hit you since your turbulence only affects bullets, and without a health mod on like vitality, it's often an insta-kill at those higher level bounties, so just be incredibly careful and make sure you're paying attention. This is actually where tornadoes get some use, and that's on capture. You down the capture target, you cast your tornadoes and then capture them. Reinforcements always drop out of the sky, and with them come some melee units who will kill you before the capture finishes. But yeah, sometimes... Just going for a silly build can be the most fun, and with how boring the bounties can get, having a fun build to play around with can make all the difference. So I hope you, you know, if you decide to play around with this build, that you have a lot of fun with it too. Um, we know some augment changes are going to be coming based on the changes announced on the forums. They're coming at some point, so I'll try and review them all again soon. Hopefully they open up some interesting build ideas. But for now, I apologise again for the lack of content. I hope you enjoyed this short video on a build I am enjoying, and I shall catch you in the next one.